Okay, what I want to do this time is I want to show you the, the ways of um, putting a picture into a document. So if we go to this document, which is the one we're working on there, we'll look at it. Currently there are no pictures in there at all. Now, in effect, there are three ways. Okay, I'll start off with way one. Okay, and I'm going to go in this section here called abstract image. I click on this, okay, this icon, and I'm going to get an, uh, an image off my PC. I could take it off the server already, but I'll grab an, an image off my PC. Uh, choose destination. I'm going to put it in files so I can easily delete it again in shortly. Okay, and let's just see what we've got in terms of images on here. View large icons. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this image of the hula hoops. Let's have a look, see what size it is. Yeah, that's a reasonable size. I click open file. And very quickly, what that done has done is it saved it in there as a JPEG and it saved it in the files. Okay, now in effect, if I go back to this, what that's done is it's going to stick a picture in right at the beginning of my document here. Now this is going to be, if I do it that way, that picture will always be in that top left hand corner, always in that same size, no matter what article I'm writing. So it's, a, it's like a consistent every page. One of the great things of this, to give you an example, would be if you had a welcome page for each class to put the uh, teacher's face or the, or the staff of that class in that. And it will always be, whenever you do it that way, that size in exactly that position. So that's way one. Way two. Let's say that I want to insert a picture somewhere in the document. Okay. I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to this icon here called File Picker. Okay. And I'm going to take this photo again that's currently on, my, that I've just uploaded and put on my system. Okay. Because I know the size of it. And I'm going to click Select Image. And you can see it's now put it. Um, into my document. I can resize so I can do it here if I hold the shift key button actually it doesn't just it's very difficult to um, there's my there's my document if I try and use these corners it will allow me to rescale it okay but the problem is it doesn't constrain the proportions okay um, but it has actually put, if I click save and continue now, go back to my document, you can see that it has actually inserted it. But I want to make the picture a little smaller and I want to wrap this text around around the document. okay? And also put a little bit of space between the picture and the text. So how I do that is I go back, I click on my picture so I've got it selected. I can see it's selected by the... Uh, anchor keys. I go on to the insert stroke edit image at the side of the file picker and this time I'm going to go to appearance and I'm going to make it a little smaller. It's currently 256. Now you've got to bear in mind that's 256 pixels. Okay, My web page is roughly 540 pixels. So at 256 it's just under half the size. I want to make the picture roughly a third of the size of the web page, so I'm going to go for what 180. Let's call that 180. And because the constraint proportions is is ticked, whatever I do on the width of the photograph here, it will do automatically the same to the drop there. Okay. I also um, what I want to do is I want to put a gap around the picture of 10 uh, pixels to push the text away. So you can see on this this um, here, if I type in 10. Okay, there, it's pushed the text out a little bit to the side, okay, and give me a border, like a, a buffer around the picture. And the other thing that I want to do is I want to decide, if I click left, it's going to wrap the text around. So here you go, you can see the buffer there. Um, I could also put a border on, I could make my border, I don't know, let's say 10 pixels, okay. Um, so I've now got a border going round. If I want to change my border to white, I can go into this bit here. Change that to... <laughs> change that to white. Now if I update my document, uh, are you sure you want to continue without including an image description? Well, I'm going to click yes. 
I could have put in an image description. Now I'm going to save, continue editing, see what's happened to my picture. Refresh. Okay, it's wrapped the text around, it's put the border I wanted to, it's made it roughly a third of the size of my document, and it's wrapped to the left. Now I could, if I chose, instead of choosing left, I, if I chose right, it would have wrapped it this side, I could have it to the center, top, bottom. What you need to do is to play with that. So now we've got this standard photograph at the top, and I can put various pictures, any number of pictures inside. <laughs> inside the document itself okay and the final way of uh, putting a photographs in is to actually do it as a library uh, sorry as a gallery so in this instance I'm still in my document you can see here I'm going to go to image gallery add new images okay I'm going to upload from my computer I'm going to put it in files so I can delete them again quickly I'm going to choose these one two three files I, I selected them there by going control one two three you could use shift uh, as you're working locally it's now uploading them you can see that it's put in if I double click on, on this one on the right and I put in a uh, web page banner I can put in a description okay and I can put it in Ian's photo quite important if I want to put in a, the name of the, the photo and a bit of a description that I click this apply and you'll see that on here um, so I've clicked apply now I'm going to click save and continue editing if I go back to my document refresh the document what I'll see there is now I've got my image gallery okay if I by holding the cursor on roughly it's telling me the description that I put in just before I click to apply if you remember and if I click on and there's my three I could put as many photos as I want in there it is important to resize the photos if you try and load a large photo which I'll explain shortly in one of the other videos about resizing photos um, it will take a long time to upload it will take a long time for your um, your visitors to see it and ideally you want to make your photos round about the sort of the 500 pixels wide mark so let's just click on that one it's open the, the photo it's putting in that the the title that I put on if you remember and I can sit now and I can scroll through the different photos in the image gallery okay so to recap we've inserted a photo uh, the standard photo size into the lop, 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 top left corner, we call this a leader photo. We've managed to insert a photo into the text or onto the web page and we can put it anywhere we wish. And we've also attached an image gallery and by clicking on that I can go through a slideshow and see, the see um, all the photos. So that's the different ways of inserting a photo into a document or inserting photo into documents.